it made national news. It was uh, it was the equivalent of uh, of the uh, Joplin tornado just a few years ago. The devastation was incredible. Pictures from a century ago show the damage left behind by the new Albany cyclone, estimated at 28 million in today's dollars. 500 homes were destroyed and 46 people lost their lives. Betty Barksdale says her mother might have died too if she hadn't gone that day to visit a neighbor. Luckily, she did go next door because the whole half of the bedroom was demolished. The tornado came with little warning, just word that an intense low pressure system was approaching the area. Many students became trapped at the Olden Street School, which was located at what is now the Children's Academy on Pearl Street. One of the faculty, several of the faculty, uh, did manage to keep the kids together and try to protect as many of them as possible. Despite the devastation, local historians say New Albany carried on. This didn't get the, the citizens down. I mean, the citizens came together. Uh, they all worked together. They, there, was, there was optimism that came, came through. Forecasters warn the season for severe weather is here again. Anytime you go from uh, warm weather to cold weather, that's when uh, when you get the, the really big storms that develop. So it's cold today, but we're going to be warming up to near 80 over the weekend, and so you need to start thinking about it again. Meteorologists say the New Albany cyclone serves as a reminder to listen to warnings and take shelter when the next big storm threatens. Reporting in New Albany, Matthew Rand, WOKY News.